Okay. Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to Momo and Izzy from Anthropology playing Mass Effect 3. Woo. So, um, we've decided that we are going to go help the Cerberus scientists in RA, RA, or it's called. There it is. Mm -hmm. um, because they potentially have the capacity to help with the. Um, what's the project called? Smashy, now. smashy, bang. The scepter. The scepter of doom project. Yeah. Crucible. Crucible! I knew it started with C, but I was getting was catalyst, and I'm like, yeah. that's not right. It looks like a death scepter anyway. It was interesting what they were saying. So last episode, we mainly just like honed around on the... Um... I'm just checking stuff out. Yeah. I'm just terrified because I'm like, we still, we need to actually be able to do that quest. I know, I know. Here we go. Yeah? Um, we honed around on the, the Citadel a lot, just picking up quests, basically. Hopefully you guys can't hear those dogs barking. Um, and... Uh, did, what happened at the end? Something happened at the end. Oh, we got um, Caden. Oh, yeah, he's on our team again. Uh, and we'll probably use him in this fight. And, um... Yeah, I guess. I guess we will. <laughs> Reluctantly. <laughs> oh, we should bring him and, um, uh, Muscle, Muscles McGee. At the same time! Yeah! yeah. I like that idea. <laughs> yes. Uh, and the Turians, not, not the Turians, the, the Tali people, uh, have Corins. made noises again, so that's exciting. Yeah, because we, we didn't know where the Corians had gone. Everyone yeah. had gone back from Pilgrimage. No one knew They'd what had happened. They'd gone dark. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, Hackett, our buddy Hackett, um, told us something important. What was it? Crucibles or... Oh, the crucible is, is designed to send out a whole lot of energy to, to wipe out the Reapers, but what will that mean? No. How will that not wipe out us? Maybe it will. Maybe it will. Maybe that's the answer. Maybe it's just like... Everyone. Maybe that's why the Protheans never finished it. They were like we'd have to wipe ourselves out to take out the Reapers, but then it would mean that for the rest of history, there's no one that the Reapers mm. wouldn't come again and again. Galax. Galax was given to the Krogan after the Rachni Wars, but bitterly contested in the Krogan rebellions and reconquered by the Turians. This left the Turians as caretakers to a levo-amino acid-based world that they could not inhabit themselves, but unwilling to, were unwilling to give up. The Jerks. Jerks. <laughs> In cooperation with the Vol Protectorate, the Turians attempted to rent the planet out for colonization. Between the high price and surface littered with unexploded ordnance, however, Galax found few reputable tenants. Its most notable inhabitants were penal colonies. To those who know of it today, Galax is a symbol of tragic waste, an entire garden world nearly forgotten by the galaxy at large. So it could have been good for another species to use, but the Turians were like, no! no. <laughs> it's like, it's we're mine. being jacked about it! <laughs> okay, so we've decided on... What's his um, info? Oh, has he still got... Barrier Reeve, Overload, Cryoblast, Alliance Officer. What type of fighter is he? He's a really he's a biotic. Oh uh, yeah. I like that one. I like the other one. That one more. And what what's his his abilities again? Because he's the same as us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, I totally want them to bitch at each other. I oh, hope they do. that could be really good. Oh, we got all that new armor. We haven't oh. equipped any of it yet. We can't do it here, can we? I don't think so. Well, we'll do it when we get back on the ship. We will need to mod Kaiden's stuff because it won't be done yet. We, yes, that's a good point. So. I can't see any of these because oh, the microphone's sure. in the way, uh, so you just go for it. I, uh, I trust by you. 20%, 50% reduced damage, but ignores defenses, increases rounds per magazine, increases damage by 22. Is there a downside to that one? Yep, that one's good. And accuracy by 20%, weapon weight, probably accuracy. 
unless you think we should have a bigger. Uh, I don't think it really matters too much for our allies because they're going to do their what computers, they do. right? So yeah. they don't have any problem with aiming. Sure, damage and damage then. Um, is that an assault rifle or a shotgun? It's an assault rifle. Do we have a better one? Mm. I think he's got the best one on. <laughs> he's got the best one. Yeah. So rounds per magazine. I don't like these ones where it's like you get this at reduced damage or whatever it is. Yeah, it's annoying, eh? Increases damage by 17.5%, increases accuracy by 15%, increases melee damage by 20%. I reckon probably accuracy and damage. damage. Yeah. Mm. Pretty consistent, but effective. Sweet, you can do that. We know we're not using those three points. He's got heaps. You do whatever you want to do with those. Nice. Carnage. Carnage. What does that do? Rip a target into shreds with this vicious blast. Major collateral damage to enemies nearby. Effective against armor. Sounds cool. good. He definitely has grenades. Oh, I'm so jealous. He's got a grenade ability. I just saw it. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? Intel's pretty damn slim. Ma'am, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Well, we love blowing okay, up down and get out of here. I need these scientists alive. <clears throat> Is it someone in the game clearing their throat? Yeah. Was it wasn't it... me for a change. No, was it Shepard? Part of me does wonder if this is just a trick. Yeah, what are they doing outside? <gasps> oh no, scientists, don't die. Is that Jacob? <gasps> yes! Oh, he always thought he was doing the right thing. Oh, no, oh, don't no, die! No, no, no. I can't handle more allies dying. Ah, oh, well, I trust Jacob. Same, but he just got shot. If they just kill more people just for the sake of the emotional dra trauma, I'm. Let's see why Cerberus abandoned this place. It's freezing. Those dogs right, outside, just keep moving. next door neighbor's dogs, are super annoying. Yeah, I don't do think that... Do to bring this down on their heads? You guys might not be able I to hear them. I don't think that these guys will be able to hear them, but... If you can, I'm... Sorry. Oh, do we, we don't have a power on. It's a uh, Yes. Someone must have cryo on though, right? Because that guy totally just froze. Yeah. Unless it was just like he froze from the fact that it's really cold out here. Maybe it's cold outside. <laughs> so about two combat episodes ago, we did put up the difficulty level, and we haven't had any issues since then. So that's been good. Yeah. No. I mean, right? Yeah. On fire. You're accurate, but I don't think you're that accurate. Come on now. Oh, I've given her a challenge. Did you actually do that? I, I don't think know. You did. I don't know. <laughs> but he's dead, and I'm happy. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, you have to shoot those guys through the little eye hole in their shield to get your. Oh, it's working towards an achievement. I actually, actually did it. Okay. All clear, Shepard. Cool. Any scientists survive? Jacob? Hey, buddy! Oh, those are those. No! Oh, shit. Hello? Who's there? Where are you? 
Take him. Hey! From Jacob. Me. How bad? I'll live. I think. Mini gel. Activate. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. What? What's that face for? Oh, I just didn't know. I was like, is that... It looks a lot like our buddy. Oh yeah. my god. Uh, I'm alright. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For uh, now, but they'll be back. Uh, you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll walk it off. You, you got get shot in the abdomen. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Oh my gosh, Our sucks. stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. Oh. No bodies, just gone. Mm. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. Yeah. Shit. Running what's smart. Yeah. yeah. The elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. That's true. Time to evacuate. Yep, let's get everyone out. Agree. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Just sit down. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. <laughs> Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. Cool. Let me rummage through your stuff and then I'll come. You know this Jacob guy? Another ex Cerberus? He worked with me to stop the collectors. It was his idea. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. She's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Well, that's a tough promise to make, but all right. Makes you feel better. Commander Shepard, I've heard about you. Another Cerberus defector, as it were. Something like that. Dr. Gavin Archer. I imagine we've both crossed the elusive man in our own way. How did you end up here? The research I did for Cerberus hurt a lot of people. I've done things no human should. There I was. With blood on my hands, blood I could never wash away. The elusive man didn't care. He said our goal was greater than any sacrifice it took to attain it. There's a big difference between sacrifice and murder. That's a big... yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The top one seems to, like, elicit more story, doesn't it? Yes. I take it the elusive man didn't just let you resign? <laughs> A man who loves to lecture about morality's shades of grey, he's very black and white when it comes to obedience. Either you do the job, or you die trying to quit. Did we ask that one already? Yeah. You asked the top one, yeah. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? It was called Project Overlord. An experiment attempting to find non-violent methods for controlling the gas. Oh yeah, he was super into it. That actually doesn't there. sound like a bad idea. Yes. Well, like most things the elusive man touches, my work became corrupted by degrees. Suffice it to say, things didn't end well. How did it go wrong? Serendipity, I'm afraid. The Geth were unresponsive to my attempts to communicate with them, until my younger brother David breakthrough. He was an autistic savant, a mathematical genius. In no time, he'd mastered the Geth language and was communicating with them. Why, you're saying he could speak directly with the Geth? It was rudimentary at first. 
So I decided to take the next step. Tap David straight into their network. It was sensory overload. No mind, even a savant's, could process the barrage information. It drove him insane. What the fuck? Well, did he have a choice? Yeah. Did David volunteer for this? The elusive man kept pushing for results. I was eager to please him. It seemed harmless at first. So, no. You forced your own brother to do that? Believe me, it's a nightmare I relive every night. He went berserk. His mind became a computer virus that infected all our systems. He killed dozens of lab personnel. We finally had to detonate nuclear weapons over the base to stop that. That doesn't make much sense. No. It seems like total over the top. Uh, wow. 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 That's right. messed up in so done. many different ways. I appreciate your help getting us out of here, Commander. Well, you're not a particularly good person, man. Yeah. Also, that kind of technology doesn't really make any sense, you know? Like, he was kind of like... I just plugged them in. It sound like his brother was like a computer. And it's like, how, what? Uh, no. Yeah. Private message from Horace to Horace to Bryn. Bryn, I don't like this. I've managed to get eyes on some of the research the others were doing, and I'm getting a sense of a, of a big picture here beyond anything we could have imagined, and our worst nightmares kind of imagined. I'm going to start sabotaging my work. That's how bad it is. We need to meet up and talk ASAP. Yeah, well, that's the thing that we don't have a sense of at the moment. We don't have a sense of what it is that the elusive man is up to, like what their grand plan is. No, we don't. We don't. Really... So hopefully, maybe talking to these people will give us a sense of that. Yeah, and it's weird because like you think he's weirdly like humans are the only species type of person, but then he's doing lots of stuff that kind of is counter to that. Yeah, I think they've gone massively off I think book. He, I think he does whatever he wants and whatever rhetoric they're using is just to his own benefit. It doesn't actually mean that's why they're doing it. Yeah, or as we've, as we've already kind of raised, they may have become influenced by the Reapers at this stage. It was just a weapon bench, I'm not... Possibly too... not, I don't know. Well, his head was backwards. Yeah, it was. Seems like that's a thing that people can do now. Was there something on the floor just there? No, just a weird sound that was happening as you walked around. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we'll get a we'll get a bit more of a sense of that. I think. I mean, he was really keen on the technology we found. And make sure those samples from Project yeah. Mia get out on the second shuttle from the gates. I've already dropped one no. box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. At the end, the what's the status tech? of the guns? Mm. Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. How the hell did you go dark with so many in tow? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? You gotta be kidding. What? Because well, their families would die. Yeah, like, they would be used by Cerberus. I mean, we'll have to say I'm, it, I'm but gonna ask she's going to say exactly what we think. So those refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. That it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. Um, I mean, and also, like, if you were, like, fleeing for your life, why wouldn't you bring your family? Like, yeah, what like, do you... Leave them behind. They'll yeah. be fine! I'm a scientist, and thus I must go away with all the scientists and leave my, my like, spouse, my children. What the fuck? <laughs> this escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from Jacob. here. I'm going to the roof. No! Medicine. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You win? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Sit down. 
Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. That's fine. That makes Cerberus you feel is better. probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Wow, this is quite an exciting quest. There's so much going on. Let's yeah. Just get the hell out of here. Uh, personal log from Bryn. With Jacob's help, we have managed to ascertain that several of our colleagues were in fact killed. Contracts terminated, is what Cerberus called it. Makita, Scott, Daniel, Chanhei, Anika, and so many others I didn't even know about. All of them gone, disappeared without a trace, just like that. We should have left sooner. I don't know why we waited so long. I can't remember what seemed so important that we had to stay just one more day. What was I thinking? Hmm. Is this stuff speckled about so that we trust them more? Probably. Dr. Cole, got a moment? Of course. She's got real glossy lips. She does. What's your relationship with Jacob? <laughs> we went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. It also saved your life. I was literally about to Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? Oh, I just thought it was really funny that, um... <laughs> like, the first thing we were like, so, what's your relationship with Jacob? I know. <laughs> well, and then we're like, we know him. We know him well. Very well. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Which is funny, because he was never really into us. No. no, until right at the end, when he was super into us. Which is funny, because we, we, like, we were like, no, 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 no. We were like, yes, like at the start, we were like, yeah, we're going to romance Jacob. Yeah. And then, and, and then it was real sad when he wasn't into us. He was uh, like, oh, you're harassing me. Okay, and then so, he was like, I'm down to fuck. And we were like, we're wait. literally dating someone else right now. <laughs> yeah, so we had, uh, you escape from Cerberus and tell me about your experiment. Do the bottom line. Yeah. I want to know what she was up to. So. What's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. I wonder what's up with their dis- Because so I can think of one reason why they might want to get rid of scientists once they've done the work so that it's- so that people who know about how it works and about the information can't take that information elsewhere, right? Yeah, big time. It seems like, and again, I don't know whether they're doing this for their own purposes or because uh, they're actually on the side of the Reapers without realizing it. It seems like they might be working on some method of mass mind control. Ah, see, yeah, weird. You know, because like we've, the, that's been brought up previously, not in relation to Cerberus, mm. where they, they were like, the Rachni can do it, the Reapers can do it. The Geth can do it. Oh, can the Geth The Geth kind of do it, and not, they not don't mind control, control. Other, but they have like hive mind. And Leviathan does it. And um, that plant thing. Oh yeah, the, that's right. Um, interesting. Yeah, I just think that's interesting, and I, I wonder if that's what they were after. They were after a way to just, like, take control of the populace. Yeah. Ah. How'd you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. We already asked that, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. 
I, I think these people are legit. I don't, uh, I don't think the storyline is sophisticated God, enough America. that they would be yeah. betraying us. No, agreed. I think I just want to make sure there's no one to talk to. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Personal log for Damini Sengupta. Sengupta. Yes. Attempts are going uh, ongoing at figuring out what the end product of our research was meant for. While it is obvious that the delivery system was to be implant reliant with evident neurological applications, many questions remain as of yet unanswered. The loss of Dr. Horace Armstrong was in particular in in particular is hindering our efforts to speedily reconstruct the nature of the elusive man's goals. We have several parts of the whole which lead us to chilling conclusions, but we are nowhere near figuring out what said whole might be, and that is what scares me the most. Mm. So that Horace guy was um, the person who'd sent a thing to a thing. <laughs> so the lady. Poison. Oh, we found the thing! Yeah. Yes! New. Did that come up with a thing saying we found it? Uh, There's a war on... Yeah, we've got it though. We know that. Told you that we should have gone to sanctuary. Look, let's just I'm giving you such an eyebrow place. right now. Um, <laughs> look, we can have a look. Because it usually comes up with a thing. I just wondered if we actually had to pick something. Poison, up. something rather. Terrain poison. We have to deliver it. Find a sample. Yeah, so we found a sample. Where? 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 I'm here. Oh. Hey. You okay? How have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. Mm. Yeah. You seem good. You look good. These are great people, defending their ideals. I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. Ah, oh, good for you. I don't want to ask him about his dad. His dad's a fuck ass. Um, what's the story, Jacob? Why are you working in a place like this? After we got back, well, things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus, I quit everything and sat by the Mediterranean for a while. Oh. That's when I lost track of you. And what did all the fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure, I get that. No, Shepard, the Normandy's your real love. <laughs> Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. But you won't. You can't. We can't, that's true. Mm. How long have you known Bryn? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Ah, we're so jealous! We're so jealous. Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her. You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um... If these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life. Whatever's left of it. That's interesting that he was straight up, we're together, whereas she did not say that at all. She didn't no. even hint at that. No, she didn't. Which, I'm... Um, I'm going to ask this one because I just, I mean... Want to explore all the options? Yeah. Yeah. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. Hey. I know that. You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's everything. Cool. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. No, you sit down and be quiet. Yeah. All right. Well, that's probably all we have time for. What is yeah. that? Do you want to check that out? Money. Money? Yeah. Money. All right. Um. Money? 
<laughs> oh. Outpost report. Jacob Taylor. Outpost now 48% operational. We've reorganized some of the storage rooms around the central core, turning them into living units in order to save power. The outer areas are all condemned now, which should provide us with a buffer should Cerberus agents find us. The guns are functional, but I don't like how exposed they are. I'm going to look into finding us some shielding on the black market. Okay. Well, we're oh, Sorting out those guns is what it will probably do in the next episode. Yep. It will happen, and I'm sure there's bound to be some fighting. Fighting! Yes. Um, oh my gosh, the dogs have shut up for a second. <gasps> but actually, it will continue. Um, I'm just kidding everything. Yeah, fair Take enough. Taking all the things. Taking all the candies. Out. Clean out all the candy. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, so thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time. We'll catch you next time. Bye.